Hi there, it's Mark Wickersham here, uh, author and speaker, helping the profession get better prices, make more money. And in this video, I'm going to share with you how do we quantify the value that we deliver to our clients. I've said on other videos before that we need to become better at communicating the value because your clients don't understand what you do, they don't understand the benefit. And one of the techniques we can use is what I call quantification. But how do we quantify the benefit? How do we quantify the value? How do we quantify the pain that we're taking away? You see, sometimes it's relatively easy, sometimes it's harder, sometimes it's objective, sometimes and very often it's very subjective. So, for example, if we talk about tax planning services, it's a little bit easier because we can quantify very often, if we're doing a tax planning exercise, what would be the amount of tax that we're likely to save that particular client. And when we quantify and measure the amount of tax at stake and how much we can save, that helps us then to communicate the value. It helps us with calculating a value-based price. However, here's a, key, here's a key thing though. We do not have to be 100% accurate. A best guess is better than nothing. Because even with something like tax planning, there's always going to be some uncertainty. You might be able to calculate that you could save the client somewhere around about $75,000 to $150,000. You might not know the exact number, but you can give the client some estimate. You could say, we think we're going to save you around about $100,000. That's going to help them see some value much more than if you just said, we're going to save you some tax. If you said we're going to save you some tax, oh, by the way, it'll cost you $5,000, they will go, wow, that's expensive. But when you put some numbers on that and make it more real, it will make your price seem smaller. Now, of course, the challenge is that very often the benefit that we deliver is more subjective. It's, it's harder to measure it. Sometimes value is just a feeling. But nevertheless, always try to uncover some numbers. It may be that we have to ask the client some questions. We go through a questioning process to identify something that we can quantify. Let me give you an example. You're talking to a brand new client, and, or it could be an existing client, and they have been doing, as, as part of their compliance work, they've been doing their own quarterly sales tax returns. In the UK, we call that VAT, but I think uh, in, it, sometimes it's sales tax, uh, whatever you call it. In the UK, historically, it's been a quarterly compliance job, and some clients do it themselves. So let's imagine the client's been really struggling with doing their quarterly sales tax returns. They come to you because, uh, because of their struggle, and now we're trying to talk about how we can offer them a compliance service, helping them complete their returns. And one of the things you want to know is, well, how much time are they spending? So ask them, how, much do you, how, how long does it take typically to do a quarterly return? And they might say, probably a couple of hours. Wow, really, two hours? Well, that's so four times a year, that's about eight hours of, of, of time. Uh, is that about right? Yeah, about eight hours, sometimes a bit more. Oh, right, so how much more? Sometimes it could be double that. So, okay, somewhere between eight and 16 hours a year. Let me ask you a question. How much is the value of your time worth? And if it helps, I know that the local motor mechanics would charge out at $150 an hour. How much is your time worth? And if they then give you a number, multiply that by the hours, and that's the value of their time every year, it's their numbers, their assessment of what they're spending, wait, wasting every single year. When you do that, it helps make it much more real, the pain and the value when you take that pain away. If you like this video, please let me know by clicking that thumbs up li icon, the like icon. Click, go look below the video and you'll see some links to some other free resources I've got for you. And feel free to comment below, feel free to share this video. Bye for now.